I think that now it's like I'm just learning how to use it. And I've been using it for like four or five months. Oh, yeah. Well, you can find everything in YouTube. Yeah, you can you discover a lot. Yeah. Yes. Welcome, Uriel, Gabby. Hello. Nice to have you here. Um, now, two things today. We're going to begin working on our skills. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to show you a little bit what you can do with the writing. <laughs> I know Miguel, he already sent the writing, but he did not like um, do the homework like I told him exactly. <laughs> The homework, the homework was to think of ideas and then this weekend, write the Oh, <laughs> oh I, Storm brain, I, Storm brain. I, started, I started to write the essay. It was an essay? Yeah. It was an essay or a letter? It was a, yeah, it was an, a letter. A letter? Oh, okay. Yes. It's okay if you begin to write. You're probably going to have to make some adjustments, though. Um... And let me explain why. Well, this thing is easy. Give me one moment. My computer is frozen. All right, beautiful students. So check this out. This is our writing task for, um, I think the official test, you know, they, I, I, I have given this course, I think like three or four times. I don't even remember. But um, every single time, this is the writing. This right here is the writing. So it's kind of like, you know, secret secret for you to know this. So check this out, man. Um, if you want to be a great writer, you have to follow the creative writing process. Okay? Does anybody know about the creative writing process? Come on, we have mm. teachers here. What, what, is what the do you mean? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to yeah. develop the to develop the idea. I don't know. Yeah, to develop to make a great writing, you need to follow the creative writing process. Okay. Now, what what in the world is a creative writing process? If you don't know it, I can write it for you. If you know, if you are a teacher, I recommend that you know this. Mm -hmm. there, there there are a few steps. The first step to the creative writing process is to brainstorm. brainstorm that is what you were supposed to do last night um brainstorm you know if for those of you who don't know what brainstorm is to think of many ideas oh here you are to think of many ideas for your writing whether it's a report an essay a letter a survey a short story, whatever you're going to write, you need to brainstorm your ideas. I think brainstorming is probably the most important thing. All right. Before you even begin writing, this is the most important thing. Okay. So after you brainstorm, you have many ideas, da 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 da. You need to plan. Plan. Okay. So you have 20 ideas, 30 ideas, 40 ideas. Are you going to include everything? How are you going to include them? Like what's going to be the order? Important to least important? Least important to most important? Most interesting to least interesting? You know, you have to plan all of this depending on the type of writing it is and depending on your style because, you know, one style is different to everybody. <clears throat> okay, so after you plan, you um, write your first draft. Okay, you write your first 
draft. Your first draft is just your first copy. A lot of students, they think because they write one time, it's okay. No, that's not how you become a good writer. When I was in, in high school, and uh, I, I took advanced English classes in high school. Um, I'm, not, I'm not proud that those things were difficult. I, I would turn in my writing, three pages of writing to my teacher, and she would return it to me, fix this. I'm like, three pages? You want me to fix three pages? <laughs> and uh, I, I would fix it and send, give it to her again. And she would tell me, fix it again. Like, oh my gosh. So you write your first draft and then you edit. You edit. And number five, after you edit, you write your second draft. Okay. Now edit are big changes. You know, edit is big changes. You know, maybe, you know, you look at your writing again and, um, well, you notice that there are some really crazy things. You know, so you edit, you make some big changes. You move some sentences. Okay, you change the order. And after you write, after you edit, you know, you write your second draft. You write it for the second time. Okay. After you write it for the second time, you proofread. Proofread are small details. You know, maybe you misspelled a word, you forgot a period, you forgot the question mark. Um, those are small details. After you proofread, you write your final draft. Your final draft is the final copy, okay? And number eight, this is optional. Repeat four to seven, or repeat steps four to seven if necessary. Yes, you know, this right here is for three times, but sometimes, your writing needs six edits, seven edits. And uh, well, it happens and it depends on your teacher. Like if you're taking a writing course, then I'm pretty sure your teacher will say six, seven times until it is perfect. Well, with me, this is not a writing course. So after your third time, if you still have mistakes, then I will correct it for you. Okay. Yes. Um, and don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. Okay, your writing is gonna be great. Um, I, when, I, when I was younger, I used to go into the writing competitions and stuff like that. You know, I, I really like why well, I liked writing now, not anymore. I write descriptions on my videos, but that's all, I don't, I don't do anything. But now, th this is the creative writing process. These are the steps. And now I wanna show you how you can apply this to your writing for this. Yes, Miguel, tell me. Oh, no, no, it was about the same. If I have a limit, um, a time limit, like five minutes, and then I have 15, it has to be quick. I mean, you don't have much time to do all these steps. So it's like a short version. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> there, in, on a test, there's no such thing. This is to improve your writing. This is to oh, become oh, a great writer. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now for a test, well, you're SOL, man. You're S so out of luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. On, on your test, you're only going to have to do one, two, and seven. <laughs> Brainstorm plan, final draft. That's right. All. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, doing this many times will help you for the final task. Now, again, let's look at the writing. Um, 
I want to take a break from speaking. So, Uriel, can you read the instructions, please? Yes, sir. Please read the writing assignment carefully. You must write at least 250 words for this assignment. Do not use dictionaries. Do not use translators. Mechanisms that involve translating to English are not allowed during the exam. Do not use cell phones during the exam. Do not copy and paste. Taking ideas, opinions, or words from someone else is called plagiarism. This must not happen during the exam. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, my friend. Well, yeah, um, the time instructions. Here it says first, you only have five minutes to think and plan your answer. And then you have 15 minutes to write your answer in the space provided. Okay, so when you never, whenever you take this test, it's going to give you these instructions. And um, it's going to give you like a little space like this. Okay, and this is where you're going to write your writing. Um, now, for your writing assignment, this, this is the whole thing. You are a parent of two children. Okay, so that's the first thing. Karen, put yourself in the position of a parent with two children. And on your way to school, to, well, on your way to drop them off at school, you notice that the speed limit in a, school, in a school zone is 35 miles per hour when it should be 15 miles. You spoke to the principal of the school about this. After a month, you notice that nothing has been done. And it's still a 35 mile speed limit. Write a letter or email to the city explaining your worries. Give precise information on what steps you took with the school. Express your feelings, hopes, and opinion on this situation and what you think should be done. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about this. Remember, our, our problem is that, well, for this activity, we have to write 250 words. Okay, that is a problem in, in our life right now, 250 words. And, but what, what is the problem about um, the article as a whole? What, what is the problem? Uh, that there's... Uh the limit, a speed limit, which is incorrect for a school term. Exactly. So the speed limit is the problem. Okay. Now, there are a few things we have to talk about. One. have spoken with the principal but he or she didn't do anything exactly well first you saw, you saw the speed limit and then you need to talk about your experience with speaking to the principal, principal. principal, principal. yeah principal and um, okay then you have to explain your worries. You have to explain your worries. Then give precise information on what steps you took with the school. Okay. Steps with school. And well, the last thing is that you can mention. Should be on. I'm going to erase this line. Erase it on. Yes. You're going to express 
feelings, concerns, yes, hopes, opinions, and what should be done. Okay, two hundred words seems like a lot, but not when not when you put it like this. And I'm going to explain how or why. All right, so um, what are some ideas that we can mention? What are some ideas that we can mention about um, seeing the speed limit? What can you say? Um, well, seeing the speed limit on 35, it's illegal if it's a school zone. Well, in the United States, okay, it's il it's illegal. Illegal. Maybe you can talk about um, the day, like you know, it was a cloudy day, and I was walking with my children to school, and I saw the sign. Right. Experience. Um, your experience. Uh, maybe you can be dramatic and be like, "Are almost you? You almost." Got hit exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you almost got hit. Can I do this? Sure. Oh, okay. Be dramatic. Yes, uh, I uh, thought I couldn't do that. I'm good at that. <laughs> You're good at that. And then you can talk about speaking with the principal. Remember, this this is where a lot of people have problems. You know, speaking with the principal. Hmm. A, a lot of pe a lot of people said that um, the the principal said yes, the pr the principal said no. <laughs> you know, don't don't do that. You know, just explain okay. what what you said to the the principal. Uh, maybe you can say you spoke with the P. I'm gonna just put the P for principal. You spoke with the P. He said he'll fix it. Never happened. Okay, never happened. Okay. Mm. He didn't have. Yes, but 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 don't be crazy. Don't say. I think the principal is an idiot. No, don't don't attack the principal. You know, remember it. Wow, I, I, you you need to keep it formal. Keep it formal. Yes. Because right. because I, I have, yeah. Because I I have had some students that said, I cannot believe the principal is like this. <laughs> like, oh my god, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> it's not formal. Remember, this is formal. Yeah, yeah. Um, explain your worries. Well, maybe you could talk about your two kids, right? Yeah. Two yeah. Kids, and maybe yeah. you can. Talk about the two thousand kids of the school. You don't know. Make up, make up the school. Uh, maybe you can talk about how you saw people racing <laughs> at, at the school limit. Uh, maybe you can talk about how uh, a student was hurt or injured. Okay, it's a safety hurt for every everybody. Student got hurt, um, safety hazard. Okay. And now uh, what steps did you take with the school? What what did you do? You know, you, you, this this is really like um how can I say this? This, this is all about things that you know, you did with the school, you know. Step by step, you mean? Besides you, talking to the principal? Yeah, you can say you made an appointment with the principal, made an appointment, talked, agreed, but nothing happened. 
And, and, and what do you do after that? So with the authorities, maybe? Follow up. Talk with the what? What'd you say? What do you have? The authorities, uh, the government. The... Um, no, no, but th this letter is for the government. So you haven't done that yet. All right, all right. You wait for the the, the response. Ooh, and very good. It's supposed to be after if um, it's it's been a month. Yes. For a month. Came. Okay. And maybe you can say every day when I walk with my with my children, I expected to see a new sign, but after a month, nothing happened. You know, make it really dramatic. Yes. But formal. And uh, express your feelings, hopes, and opinions. Now here, here you can be a little more personal. Maybe you can talk about how you are offended because, you know, they're not, they're playing with the child's life. You are offended. Yeah. Um, you, he was ignored. Uh, ignored, offended, ignored. I feel very offended because my petition wasn't taken seriously. You know, I was ignored. And um, <clears throat> you can, maybe you can bring other people. Many, many parents are also worried and offended. Right. And then you can talk about your hopes. Um, hope it gets fixed soon um you can talk about your opinion what is what is your opinion about the situation that it's dangerous for children not having a a limit a speed limit sign the first thing it's dangerous Dangerous for students and then it's, what? It's dangerous for everybody. Dangerous for everybody. Yeah. Oh, I just thought about something crazy. <laughs> Maybe you can talk about how you lost an uncle to a car accident. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> can I do that? Yes, yes. An example, like an example, right? Yes. Oh, okay. like maybe you can say, two years ago, I lost my uncle um, to a, in a car accident because he was speeding. Okay. And um, so I take this situation very personal. I hope it gets fixed very soon. Thank you for reading my letter. Right. Oh, my gosh. Sincerely, <laughs> Abby. Sincerely, Uriel. closer. Okay. Reading. Treating um, the school, if they don't do anything about it, you can go, you can step up to the city, to the, the school. Okay. Because it's been a month, if they don't do anything, so I go higher. Okay. Oh, you're putting pressure on. Of course. Right. That's why I, I pay taxes like the American, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, they do say that. That's their answer. I pay taxes. That's I'm true. allowed to do that. Okay, so now. So now, you know, you have to write 250 words. But now it gets divided into all of these little things and it becomes less. I mean, think about it. Seeing the speed limit, you know, first you say to whom it may concern. That is the best way to start a formal letter. To whom it may concern. Or mm, you know, I, th I think that's the best one. To whom it may concern. Or 
Dear city council, dear mayor, you know, something like that. Dear something. Um, and then you begin to speak about your senior speed limit. Dear, now to whom it may concern, um, the other day, I was walking with my two children. Man, don't forget the children. I was walking with my two children to the school and I noticed something unbelievable. I noticed that the speed limit in the school zone is 35 miles per hour when it should be 15 miles per hour. Okay. Um, or maybe you, you don't have to say the other day. Maybe you can say a month ago, right? A month ago, I realized that the speed limit was 35 miles per hour when it should be 35 miles, okay? That day was a very cloudy day and there were many cars on the streets. Um, I, I saw one of the parents almost get hit by a car. And this is really concerning to me you know boom that's the first paragraph that's at least at least that's like 40 words already i don't know probably more easily 40 words and then you can talk about speaking to the principal so after seeing that i i made an appointment with the principal and i decided to speak on it he told me that i could come to his office the next day during his lunch break and he was very kind to me. I expressed my concerns and he said that he would do something about it immediately. Okay. One month went by and nothing happened. Okay. That's like at least 30 words. I don't know. Maybe more. And now you explain your worries. Now here's, it starts to get a little critical. Okay. Um, I have two kids. And I have many nieces and nephews that go to this school. And not to mention that there are 2,000 kids who go to the school as well. It's one of the biggest schools in the county or in the city, all right? That day, I saw people racing in a school zone. How, is, how can this be possible, all right? And a student got hurt trying to run because a car was close to hitting him. This is a safety hazard for everybody. Okay, 50 words, boom. You st the steps that you take with the school. Now you can talk about, you know, the thing with the principal, but more in details, all right? All right, so I shook hands with the principal and I waited for a month and nothing happened. I could not believe that a month had gone by with no solution. Boom, another, another 30 words. And um, over here, you express your feelings. And right here, you have to go crazy. Maybe write 100 words. You know, talk about how you are offended, how parents are and all of this and all of that. Now, this, this is just one example. This is just one example, something we did together. You don't have to do it like this. You, you can do something differently. It depends on your writing style, okay? Um, but I, I just wanted you to notice that, you know, first it's important to write all of your um, ideas and then organize them and put them together and stuff like that. Like maybe the steps you took with the school, maybe you can mention this and this in the same paragraph or something and it'll be okay. And maybe explaining your worries and expressing your feelings, it, it can go in the same way. Teacher. I think 
picture is frozen, yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. What happened? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what happened? I think the teacher internet went out. Oh, se le fue la luz. Nah, my legs went out saying what's up. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a minute. Se puede tardar un poco. In English, please. Ah, no es cierto. <laughs> <laughs> that could take a long. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Well, let's start writing. A draft, I guess. Our first draft. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you finish, Mia, with your first draft? No, I did three drafts before about this. Because, oh, wow. But you know what it exactly was. Who is going to be the teacher? Carolina, <laughs> <laughs> uh... Miguel. <laughs> well, I think that's my opinion for now to start doing the first draft. I mean, you know, like developing the the brainstorm. The brainstorm. Yeah. Your own brainstorm. Yeah, yeah. So I will uh, read to you the, my first draft. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It says to dear um, now to Mr. Um, dear principal from Mr. Nunez. I was to ask him about if you can introduce yourself to know who who you are. Mm -hmm. You you are father of this kid or something, no? You have to introduce yourself. Yeah, because yeah. The, the, the city is going to receive the letter and they don't know you. Right. Good evening, Mr. The name. Hoping you are very well and wishing you the best on this day. I find myself in a matter of concern. I know you are a busy person. However, I like to notice something very important about the safety of the kids and your staff. According to school zone speed, um, this zone should be 50 miles per hour. However, oh no, per hour, how, uh, how could that be possible? I wonder if there's any way to let the authorities know about this safety hazard. How can we be as parents? How can we as parents How can we as parents help? Please, would you let me know as ASAP about what's going on? Then I can be contacted on my cell phone, blah, 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 or my email, blah, blah, blah. Thank you in your advance. Let's regards. 
Okay. That's what I did. Something short, but I didn't have the instructions. That's why. Oh, yeah. you, when you, I did, I did, actually, I did my semi test like a year ago. Uh -huh. So you have to be, to concentrate, to focus Better just exploring. on the writing. Because it's timing, you know? Yeah, That's yeah. Five yeah. minutes, then 15 minutes. So it's yeah. kind of the pressure. Oh my uh, and depending uh, on that pressure, you make mistakes sometimes. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. And did, did you get the, the semi? That, yeah. that exam? Yes, oh. I have it. But it was, was for it? only one year, no? Yeah. It's the first time I'm going to apply it, so I'm completely lost. But it is easy. Just trust yourself, trust your knowledge, be confident, oh and focus, mm. focus. Yeah, yeah, focus, yeah. yes. Sir. Carolina, you're here. Yeah, sorry, I'm late because I have a problem with my computer. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Claudia, welcome. Thank well, you. yes, guys, my electricity went out. Sorry. <laughs> All I heard was and everything went away. Well, happens. Yes. You're in Acapulco, remember? <laughs> Man, I, in other places it is worse. <laughs> I, did, I, I did not. Yeah. Here in Yucatan, it happens a lot. Yes. A lot, really a lot. No, in Puerto Rico, you, you know, Puerto Rico, it's some way it belongs to the United States. Oh, yeah. It's an independent, and it happens like every day, electricity or water, either one. Man. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have an image. Ah, yeah, I screenshotted it. A little screenshot and what's the other thing? Along with this. Okay, so guys, m my point is that, you know, write your own way. If I see that you write something really bad, I will tell you, I will like, um, I won't say it's really bad. I will say, you know, you need to, you need to change these things. You need to tr write it again. And remember, the, w one of the most important things is to write 250 words you know imagine losing points because you wrote 230 words you know that is so so important and and that's why i want you to write it in um in microsoft word all right now look at microsoft word okay microsoft word is one of the best things that you can do for this type of writing. You know, the first thing you need to do, write this down. The first thing you need to do in Microsoft Word is change the language. Change the language. English USA, or if you are, if you know British English, you can use English UK. I think it's an option. Yeah, English UK, English Australia, English Canada. But I'm pretty, everybody here has United States English. So English US, that is the most important thing. Okay. Now, this is not going to be like a letter. This is going to be like an email because it's all going to be digital. So you don't need to write your address, the receiver's address, the name of your company. No, it's not going to be necessary. So all you're going to do is, you know, begin to whom it may concern.
to whom it may concern. Comma. Boom. Five words already. About a month ago, I was walking with my children, with my two children. To school. See, um, if, if I misspell a word, like for example, if I forget, if I write children, uh, M Microsoft should automatically tell you. Sometimes it doesn't, like right now. But it, it will help. Uh, it will help you a lot. Right, like right here, I misspelled children. You know, a lot of times we don't know how to spell a word, but Microsoft Word will help us. So you just click it and it will give you some options. And of course you just press the correct option and that's how you will write it. Now, I, I, will, know, I will know if you did this, if you put it in Spanish or in English, okay? Because you will have a lot of mistakes, like some students will write the the sign was 35 miles per hour when it should when it should be 15 miles i have had students that write to me like this with little mistakes, they, they don't spell the correctly. Um, they don't spell should correctly. And, um, and that is because they don't have the language set in English, you know. <clears throat> Take advantage of this. It will make your writing easier, okay? Now, look at this, look at this. I have two sentences and I already have 30 words. And I haven't even started. I haven't even started to talk about my opinions. This is, I'm just stating the problem. I'm just stating the problem, that is all. Uh, teacher? Yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, we don't have to follow like the instruction or the steps for uh, like an essay, right? Like the using connectors, uh, using the introduction, then, um, all the steps, you know, like a real essay or just like a letter. Yeah, man, you do. Yeah, you do. Um, and, and, and this is how you would do it. Like in the first parts, you state the problem. Okay, this is a letter of complaint. You state the problem too. You explain the problem and um, give solutions. And the third one, you restate the problem. Let's see if what one is it. Restate the problem. And give thanks. Let me write this bigger. Okay. So that, that's how it should be. Now, you don't have to write three paragraphs. Maybe you can have four or five. Usually in the mid, the body paragraphs are usually two or three paragraphs, okay? So you should have like three or four paragraphs, you know, something like that. I can send you an example letter of one of my, from one of my students, okay? All right. Wait, let me see, let me see if I can find it actually. Five. Let me see. Let's see. Erica. Was Erica a good student? Erica, Erica, Erica. Miguel. Uh, I think Eric is good. Let's use Eric.
Okay, this is Erica's. This is like her edited version. Now, this right here, this right here with the address and stuff like that, it's not necessary. You can write it if you want, but you know, don't count that for your words, you know? So if she erased this, it would only be 300 words. It's still okay. All right. If you want to, you can read this or take a screenshot of it. Um, this is like something that I had already corrected, I think. Let me read it. All right. Yes. This is my student, Erica Aguilar. And uh, she got B2 in the writing. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good example. And um, yeah, you can take a screenshot or I can send it to the group. Or Caroline, are you going to send it to the group? No, teacher, I don't, I, I am the computer now in my iPad, so I can today. Okay. I got no it, problem. I send it. I send okay. it right away. All right, great. But don't tell Erica. <laughs> don't <laughs> tell Erica. Okay, well, now I want you to get a piece of paper. Write down these questions, please. If you see that my writing is bad, tell me. Um, everybody got this down? Yes, sir. It is somewhere 
near your city. Explain to them what you have planned and why you think this is a good plan. All right, so um, the first question is going to come on the real test. Yes. Ha. Hola. <laughs> this, the first question is going to come really? on the real test. Yes, um, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. But like with these last few courses that I gave, they're like, teacher, the question we practice in the class comes on the test. I'm like, really? What? <laughs> this is like something that we made. <laughs> like, so the first one comes on the test. Like not, not those exact words, you know, but you know, basically, you know, tell me about yourself, your name, how old you are, where you, you know, basic Same idea. stuff about you. Yeah. All right. Okay, you have these questions written down? Yes, yes. All right, so let me tell you how the speaking test is going to go. Okay, so on the speaking test, I'm going to stand up a little bit. Okay, so on the speaking test, you're going to have like one minute for all of your answers, okay? One minute for all of your answers. Now, you, the quiz is going to show you the question, it's going to show you the question, and then you have to you know, think about your answer, and when you speak, you need to speak exactly for, no, I'm not gonna say exactly, for almost a minute. Remember that the speaking is 56 to 59 seconds. So you have to calculate it. Okay. Um, so let me tell you, like on, on the test, it's going to have a timer, right? It's going to be like a little, like a little line and you're going to see the time going down. It's going to say 49, 48, 46, 45, you know, the time is going to go down. And whenever you see that there's only like 10 seconds left, you have to finish your sentence or say something last really quick. But if, if you don't, if you don't, like if, if it stops in the middle of a sentence, it's gonna be bad. So try to finish with, you know, with two or three seconds left. All right. Uh, let me see if I can find something that's, that can help us. I'm going to give you an example of how you are going to do this, okay? And then we're going to practice, you know, one time, you know, with the class.
okay? So the good thing is that you're gonna be able to see the question while you answer. You're gonna have like 10 or 15 seconds to think about your answer, okay? And now, in the first question, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to talk about. But let's say, for example, me, I don't have any talents. So I'm not going to say anything about that because I don't want to sound that like, like an untalented person, even though I am, but I don't want the, the listener to know, okay? So I want you to listen to how I answer this, okay? So I read the question, and now I'm going to press the button so the timer can begin, all right? Well, my name is Fernando Gatica. I am 23 years old. Right now, I live in Acapulco. Acapulco is a beautiful city with a lot of beaches. And a few years ago, it was a very popular tourist destination for people all over the world. A lot of people have come here, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, Luis Miguel, and people on that level. Um, I have two main hobbies. My hobbies are one, teaching, and two, making videos uh, about teaching English. Um, I have been doing this for about three years, and I think it's become my passion. I love to teach so much. And that is all. Thank you. Okay. The, now, I did not mention anything about my talents. I wanted to say something about my family. I really, really wanted to, but I noticed that my time was finishing. Okay? My time was finishing. So at the end, I just completed it with, and that is all. Thank you. Okay? Um, you know, I, I want you to know that you don't have to talk about each thing if it's not possible. Now, maybe I can talk less about my hobbies and more about my family. Maybe that's a good solution. But the, the, actually, that would have been way better. But the purpose is to not stress about not saying everything. The most important thing about this speaking test is to speak and not stop, okay? That is the most important thing, to speak and not stop, okay? And the same thing um, for number two. Your friends want to go on a weekend trip. It is somewhere near your city. Not near to, never say near to. Near to your city, no, near your city. Explain to them what you have planned and why you think this is a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example with this one. All right, so you know, I take a few seconds to think. When you think, do not think about exactly what you're going to say. Just think about the general ideas. In this case, I could think about a nice place in my city. In my case, I'm going to say La Roqueta. And you know, why is it a nice place? Well, one, two, and three. And um, what can we do there? Oh, one, two, and three. Why is this a good idea? One and two. All right, so now I have my ideas. I don't know what I'm going to say or how I'm going to say it, but I have some ideas. So I can continue, continue, continue to speak. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. Okay, so three of my friends are coming over for a weekend trip. And I think it would be a great idea to take them to La Roqueta. La Roqueta is a beautiful island um, outside of our city. We have to take a boat to get there. Um, on this island, it has some of the clearest water in the world. And you can go snorkeling or ride a jet ski. And I think that when we get there, we're going to have fish for lunch. And then we're going to go snorkeling with the, with the divers. And then we're going to go to this nice restaurant there. I think it's a good plan to go here because one, it's cheap, two, it's fun, and three, 
is going to be a great experience and great pictures for Instagram. Okay, something like that. Um, you are about to practice, but before you begin practicing, do you have any questions? No? Uh, me, about the essay, well, about the letter. Um, uh, just to remember, um, do I need, no, do I have to write exactly 250 words? No, 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 more, more, more than that. Now, yeah. Okay. More than, more than 250, but not 1,000, okay? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> like, I, one time a student sent me uh, a, net, a letter with 900 and, I still remember the number, 938 words. Oh my God. And I was like, I'm not going to read this. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again. Um, because, you know, the, the person that is going to read it, you know, the fine, I'm not going to read it. The final thing, I'm not going to read. It. Somebody from San Diego is going to read it. And, um, well, it's going to be too much, you know, so anywhere between okay. 250 and 400 is a great place okay all right carolina don't look like that well do you have any question about the speaking uh, well you, you you mentioned before that um <clears throat> the best um tool is be influent uh, be fluent and uh, do not stop at all, right? No matter how many mistakes you, you, you make when you speak, you continue speaking and speaking and speaking. Yes. And not repeat and do not repeat the same what you, you exactly. said before. Exactly. So uh, all, of, all of these um, test places like Cambridge, TOEFL, and in this case, San Diego University, they know that people make mistakes when they speak. Okay, now, when, when, a, when a person that is advanced makes a mistake, they don't care. They continue with the conversation, right? And if it's a big mistake, then they say, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I meant da 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 Or no, I mean da 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 Oh, wait, no, da 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 You know, they, they correct it quickly if it's a big mistake. If it's a small mistake, they don't worry. Like, you know, if... They say since two years instead of two years ago, you know, it's, it's kind of a small mistake. Maybe it's a big one depending on the events, but you can fix it, you know? So if you make a mistake, remember you can say, I mean, or maybe you can say, no, no, wait. And th those are some quick expressions that you can use to fix your mistake. Okay. I went, I went to elementary school when I was two years. No way. I mean, two years old and da 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 da. Okay. Um, but yes, focus on fluency. If you say, no, wait, no, wait, like three or four times and you're speaking, it's going to be ridiculous. You know, so just focus on your fluency. That is the biggest thing. These people know that People make mistakes. It's what you do when you make a mistake that counts. Okay? So, um, who has another device where they can display like a timer? Like if you have your cell phone, you know, you're going to need a timer. And you can go to YouTube and put one minute timer, or if you have the timer application on your phone, you can put that. But it's cooler with YouTube, because it makes a sound. You just gotta put one minute timer on YouTube. And then you can start like this. And whenever the person is ready, they can say, ready, and then you press start. Okay, here you go. And they begin speaking. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, the timer is really important. Really, really, really important. 
that it, it is our guide, not our enemy, our guide. I okay, got so one. Carolina, do you have another device? Yes? Me too. Me too. Yeah, but you have another device? Yes. Okay, but you don't have a camera, so how can we see? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's, it's going to be a little tricky with Gabby. Claudia, do you have a, a camera? No, I don't. No, I don't All have right. it. All right. It's okay. Well, excellent, excellent. Well, I think that Claudia and Gabby, you're going to stay here with me. Okay? Uh, Carlos? Carlos. Oh, my gosh. Carlos? Carlos. Carlos. Carolina. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. The glasses. <laughs> yes, yes. These glasses are cutting my circulation. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Carolina, you're going to work with Miguel and Celine with Uriel. Remember, it is really, really important that you put the timer where your partner can see it. Okay? The whole screen. All right. So, so you can take note of their time. Now, you are not going to correct them or anything like that, okay, while they speak. But if you hear any big mistakes, you know, if you hear any big mistakes, maybe you can write it or just remember it and tell them when they are finished, okay? But don't interrupt them. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. All right. So... I'm about to open your breakout rooms. Remember, if you are nervous, drink a drink a beer. <laughs> Shut. Yeah. That's a she's, problem. She's one. She's one. Okay. And it's gonna help you a lot. So please go to your breakout rooms. Okay, so Gabby and Claudia, um, I am going to be the moderator for you, yes. okay? So Gabby, don't worry about the, the timer. Don't worry about your camera. You don't need to have it on if you don't want to, all right? Okay. Um, so I'm just going to take some notes and I'm gonna hear your answers, all right? I'm getting my notes. Who wants to go first, Claudia or Gabby? <laughs> you, Claudia. You first, or me? Gabby, you are first. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I start. Uh, well, um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm, I'm Gabriel Uriel Serrano. I'm hold a on, hold 20. On, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have to tell me okay. when you are ready so I can start the timer. Okay. okay. All right. When, whenever you are ready. Uh, now. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I'm Gabriel Uriarte Serrano. I'm, ten, I'm a girl. Um, uh, uh, I mean, I'm a 24 year, years old. I'm an English teacher. Um, I, I, ca I can say that I'm. I don't have any hobbies. I believe I'm too old and I don't have enough time to practice one. Uh, as a talent, I can, I can say that I can sing. When I was at university, I participated on, on a conquest, but I didn't, I didn't win. Uh, then um, about my family, uh, there are, it's a small family of four members and also I consider my pets as members of my, of my family. And that's all. It was. All right. Yes. I failed. 
<laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Well, maybe, maybe, you know, you need 10 more seconds. You stop speaking at 10 seconds. Yeah. Maybe you can talk a little bit more about that talent contest. That's interesting. Okay. D did you, did you get second place or third place? No. <laughs> I Nothing. Okay. Because well, I was nervous that time, I failed. Okay, so maybe you can elaborate more on that talent. Maybe you can say, I started singing when I was da -da -da years old. Okay. And when my family has parties, we, I am always singing on the karaoke and they love me. Okay. okay. So you can talk about that. And, you know, that will be like an yes. extra five seconds. All you need is five or six more seconds. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let's go to number two, Karen and Gabby. Okay, me, I, I start, I, I start. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Mm, ready. I, I can see, oh, okay. Uh, my friends want to go to a, to a place near my country, well, near my country, near my city. Well, I don't live in a city, but I live in a, in a town and some some places in which they, we can go are an archaeological zone uh, it is near it is about five five or ten minutes near my my town um, it could be a it could be a good idea because there are a lot of historical facts facts and um, there was a, there was a antique civilization, um, and we can we can find goods about it. it a tree. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, right there you didn't finish. Okay, okay. right there you didn't finish. So the first one you needed more. And the second one you needed less. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. This is just the first time, okay? So don't worry, we're gonna practice again tomorrow. Um, I, I recommend that you have, um, you know, something a little more prepared. Don't write anything. If you write something, you're, you're gonna lose. Yes. Because it's not gonna be, um, you know, something, you know, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be something you can read it has to be something from here. Yes. Okay. So um, very good. You did. You did a lot better than a lot of people that I have had. Ten. Ten seconds. Add, you need to add six or seven more seconds to the first question. Talk yes. about your talents more. And uh, number two, you know, be a little brief. Cut down some unnecessary facts. Okay. Yes. Claudia. Whenever yes. you're ready. Oh, number one. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, on three. One, two, three. I'm Claudia. I'm 34 years old. I live in here in Puebla. I have two hobbies, play basketball and also listen to English music. So my talent that I consider uh, is that I can apply beautiful nails and also cut the hair. Uh, this is the um, hobby that I like a lot. Moreover, I live with my two brothers, two sisters, um, two sisters in law. Um, also, I live with my two girls and my mom. In other words, I can say that I don't get along well with my sister in law because sometimes I, I fight with them. Um, I love to to be with my family, to share a lot of things with them. Um, I love to pass my days with my little daughters. The last sentence was not necessary. <laughs> All right. No. Thanks. But but very good, very good, very very. Good. Whenever you're talking about your hobbies, uh, Claudia, 
Yes. Don't say my hobbies are play basketball. Say my hobbies are playing basketball. Ah, uh, yeah. The verb ing. Play. Playing basketball uh. and listening. Listening. Okay. Good. All right, very good. Very, very good. I love your fluency. Very good fluency. Gabby, your fluency was great too. You did not stop speaking. Both of you have great fluency. All right. All right, with question number two, whenever you are ready, Claudia. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You ready? Um, yes? Or not? Uh, yeah, ready. Take time. You, have, you have a few seconds to think if yes. you'd like. Ready. Okay, on three. Yes. One, two, three. Well, the place that we consider that to, to go out with my friends, we consider the, the nice place is Quetzalam because it's, um, it's a place near of our houses. And also it is important place, like uh, it's a cheaper place. It has historical, historical places, monuments. Um, also, it's a great idea to travel there to, to pass a great weekend. Um, and also, it's a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful and nice place. Um, and also, we, 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 are, we are going to enjoy to be there, to, to go to, to see the landscapes, um, to, to go around, to, to know another places that are near. near. <laughs> All right. Don't say to pass the weekend. Say to spend the weekend. To spend the weekend. Um, and never say pass time with the family. In Spanish, pasar tiempo con la familia. In English, is spend time with the family. Um, and another places. Another is singular. So say, and don't say another. Say other places. Other places. Well, very good, very good. So you, Claudia, you go over one minute just by a few seconds every time, okay? Yes. So, you know, maybe the, the last sentence, don't say it. Uh, yes, okay. The last sentence, all you need to do is eliminate one sentence and you'll be good because your fluency is great. You made one or two mistakes, but it's normal. You, you, you can easily get B2. Same thing for Gabby. You can easily get B2 with your speaking. Okay? Uh, thanks. Thanks, Jay. Right. Well, um, wait here for a few minutes. I'm going to go check the other students. All right? Yes, thanks. How did it go, Uriel and Celine? It was cool. It was cool. Did, did you did you speak for one minute? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I planned. I just like you said. I planned ideas on my mind, like a general ideas. I develop in my speech. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. That's great, man. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, I like I said. I don't know if I told you that I already uh, d did this test for from Steny, but it was different. It was like a, in a classroom and it was kind of different. And I had problems with my writing because there's a limit. There was a limit for it, for the letter. And it's, I don't know. I don't remember if I 300 words, something like that. And I think that it broke more than that. And that's why I failed that part. <laughs> but I think that my, my my writing was, was good. So look, man, the SENI is not a test, okay? I think, I think we have a misconception there. The SENI yeah. is not a test. The SENI is just a certification. So if you want the SENI, you need to take a TOEFL, uh, Cambridge, San Diego, wh wh whatever, whatever international proficiency test. You take the test and then you send it to SENI. SENI oh, yeah. validates it, all right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Every test is different. I got my SENI with the TOEFL, okay? 
I got my seni with a topo. And um, if you have ever taken a topo, then you can get your seni like that. All right. But yeah. th this test right here, well, it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be easy compared to a topo. Topo is hard. Oh yeah. Um, and that that is all. You know, I I heard Carolina talking about. I don't have anybody to practice with. Do you talk to people, Carolina? Do you try to make friends? No. Well, that's your problem. Try to make some friends on Facebook. You, you I don't live, like you the new people. Well, <laughs> you're never gonna find a partner. <laughs> it's like it's like you know you you have you have the problem, but you don't want to solve it. You know, um, I, 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 a lot a lot of people they have told me about this. You know, ah, teachers gonna they can practice. Bueno, métete en la página de Facebook. Se llama Conversación de Inglés. Tiene 700 mil miembros. Haz un post. ¿Alguien quiere ser mi compañero? ¿Alguien quiere hablar por teléfono conmigo? Y van a decir, sí, yo, 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 yo. Mándame un mensaje, mándame un mensaje, mándame un mensaje. And then, they will talk to you on the phone. Voilà. Ahora, si, si eres chocante, pues solo dáselos a los guapos o a las guapas. So, you know. <laughs> And check the profile first, you know, can you know, say alguien loco. And um, th that's how you find people. Look, Facebook is a great place. You know, if you go to Facebook, go to the group sections and find English conversation. English students, estudiantes de inglés. You know, there are many pages on Facebook where you can find people group? to practice. Oh, English conversation, that's what it's called. It's Press it. Press the first one. Okay. Tiene como unas flores en el Yeah. Yeah, that one. I'm a member and I didn't know it. Yes, yes, you <laughs> see. Nice. I, I see a lot of people. Um, they say, does somebody want to practice English with me? And a lot of people, me, 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 like 200 comments. Man. Oh, yes. And you can choose. You can be chocante now. Yes, you, yes. No, you know. You, I yes. kiss one. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and my students, you know, they have found people like in Russia, they, they practice in English. And it's cool because they don't speak Spanish. So you're obligated to speak English. Oh, yeah. And, um, and, and it's a really cool experience because you can talk about your culture, you talk yes. about things you do, your profession, the life. And, um, you know, don't, don't limit yourself. You don't have to practice by yourself. You know, in the past, yes, but with this technology stuff, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> yes. Yes, um, it is. But if you want to be antisocial, then you have to practice in the mirror. You know, <laughs> practice in the mirror or uh, <laughs> record, record yourself and then listen to yourself. Or, or what you can do is like in your cell phone, um, record 10 questions and leave a lot of time and then you, you hear the question and then you answer it in, in person and then play the next question you answer it you know it's like you're talking to yourself but you're talking to yourself <laughs> there are a lot of cool things you can do a yeah. lot of cool things you can do Different. and uh, yeah. well we're gonna practice these again now don't write your answers. <laughs> don't write your answers. There's no point. I mean, what if you don't have the same questions? Okay. Um, we, we are just going to work on our skills. Today, we worked on the skill of correcting with I mean and no wait, sorry. And we try to right. you know, time ourselves. Tomorrow, we're going to implement some more skills, you know, like filler words, like when you when you don't when you don't have anything to say, you can say you know what I mean, or you know what I'm saying. You know to come to fill in the space when you don't know, and you can use that time to think about other things. Um, Miguel, tell me. No, I was just wondering um, in the speaking because I have my my CENI certificate here, so uh, I was kind of not low but it was an okay level. 
uh, 11 from ECB2, but I don't know how they measure the mistakes. I guess it's 500, no, I got um, 160. They use words, right? You use speak. Depending how fast you speak, how fluent you are, I mean, how you, how, how do they, they measure? write the score for that. Okay, I can write it in the chat. Number one most important thing, fluency. Then you have mm -hmm. grammar. Then you have vocabulary. Then you have communication. Communication is like how you make it make sense. And the last thing is pronunciation. Oh, okay. Okay, those are all uh, the things. The most important one, obviously, is fluency. And fluency. grammar, you know, if you say some crazy stuff with the grammar, then it's going to affect uh, you. Okay. Uh, you know, the vocabulary is like, yeah, and, and this is really interesting. And another interesting thing is this. Oh, and I did something interesting last week. You know, if you repeat the same word, same word, that's horrible. You need to have, like, synonyms. Like, a, a synonym for interesting would be wonderful or you know, mind-blowing, amazing. Mm -hmm. and you have to have a really good synonyms. Communication is like answering the question. <laughs> right. <laughs> like sometimes, like literally, student is going to sound crazy. The student doesn't answer the question. Like, yeah, that's like, what it was. I, 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 had, I had a situation with some teachers in Mexico City when I, when I was traveling. The second question that I gave you about, you know, um, your friends want to go on a weekend trip. It is somewhere near your city. Um, talk about what you have planned. This guy was talking about this place and he was given all the details about the place. The one minute, the one minute finish, but he didn't talk about the plans. He did that not was answer Carolina. the question. Teacher. That was Carolina. Carolina oh, was like God. talking about the city and the food. <laughs> okay, so yes, talk about the plans and answer the question and the pronunciation. Okay, the pronunciation. Now, if you have an accent, it's okay, but don't mispronounce the words. Okay? Th those are the five categories that they are going to talk about. Um, each category is 20 points. Okay, so 100 in total. And then they take points off. Okay. okay. Well, okay, that's okay. all, guys. Your homework right. is to write. Do right. the writing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Clear. Yes. Clear and sound. Thank you. Thank See you guys right. tomorrow. Take care. See you tonight. Bye. 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 Bye.